Yo, what's up guys? This is Tech Nick and I have one of the hottest phones with me right now, the ZTE Axon 10 Pro. I say the hottest phone because you guys have actually told me that you just want test, 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 test after another test on it. And I'm here to tell you that the first test I have for it is a wireless charging speed test since that charging compatibility is not mentioned anywhere on the website. It is not mentioned within the phone specs, period. We don't know how fast this phone can charge. We're not sure on the percentage, on the wattage there. And for that reason, I have grabbed a Huawei wireless charging pad here since it sports 7.5, 10 watt and 15 watt capabilities. And it's gonna be one of those three guys. I doubt it's gonna be 20 like the Xiaomi since that's the only one of its kind. It's not gonna be that fast, but it might be somewhere between that 7.5 and 15 watt mark. I'm really interested to see how that stacks out. And then we obviously have the Huawei Supercharge block, which actually comes bundled with this charger. And I did use this wireless pad since this is actually one of the few wireless pads that is said to be compatible with the ZTE Axon 10 Pro, when many of them are not. I'm also using the respective USB Type-C cable that comes along with the wireless charging pad. Guys, this is an awesome phone. I'm really excited to see how it does. And without further ado, let's go. So starting over here, I did just place three of the other phones that I've previously done on a wireless charging speed test at the top there. I'm going to be using an interval timer at the top right hand corner and the ZTE Axon 10 Pro percentage is underneath the branding and above the cell phone on the right hand side. So after the 10 minute mark we only have 7% which is significantly lower than the rest of them but pretty similar to the Galaxy S10 Plus with that 15 watt charging and since they have very similar battery capacity there it's not, I mean it's, it's pretty similar, it should be pretty similar but now you can see the Samsung is now pulling ahead on that 30 minute mark. 15% in 30 minutes guys. I think the only one that is actually useful here is the Xiaomi with 42% but it does have a much smaller battery than the rest of these guys at just 3,300 milliampers where the rest of them have 4,000 or over 4,000 milliampers. And you can see that the P30 Pros was using the exact same charger over here and yet it's doing 12% better on that 40 minute mark as opposed to the ZT Accent 10 Pro. And I'm starting to pick up a trend that this is one of the reasons that they didn't advertise wireless charging on the Accent 10 Pro as much as they would have liked. I mean, if you have great wireless charging you kind of mention it in every moment that you get because wireless charging is an awesome thing to have on a phone especially on a budget phone such as the Accent 10 Pro which is cheaper than pretty much all of these phones except for the Xiaomi Mi 9 and it has absolutely everything in from waterproofing, micro SD card support, curved OLED display or well, AMOLED display and dual sounding DTSX speakers. And on that hour and 30 minute mark, we have 46%. So I guess in an hour and a half, you can get about 50%. But then again, the Galaxy S10 is 13% ahead here. The Xiaomi then clocked off at an hour and 37 minutes, guys, from zero to 100. We don't even have halfway on the Accent 10 Pro, which is not great. But I mean, I do understand it does have a bigger battery. And there is a lot of features in this phone that you don't get with the Xiaomi. It is truly a flagship killer. Uh, but I don't know, I mean, I guess you wouldn't buy this phone for wireless charging if you were to ask me at these speeds, but at least it's there if you want it. If you go to a mate's house, he has a wireless charger, you need to rest your phone down somewhere, you may as well charge it up a little bit. P30 Pro knocked off there with 2 hours and 14 minutes, and the ZTE Axon 10 Pro is still on 61%. And then on the 2 hour 30 minute mark, we have a 20% slower than the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus with the same charging capabilities, which makes me think that this is around a 7.5 watt charging capabilities within the Accent 10 Pro and the S10 Plus knocked off at 2 hours and 43 minutes with the Accent 10 Pro somewhere between 75 and 80 percent at that mark there guys and then we're going to reach that three hour mark and you can see 88 percent on the Accent 10 Pro after three hours it's not even full after three hours guys do you would you even use this if you got the phone let me know I mean hopefully they're wired charging is faster than this um, because you need to juice up your phone and hopefully their battery drain is really great too and fortunately for you guys I'll be bringing both of those tests to you really soon and after that 3 hour and 30 minute mark we have 97% so 3 and a half hours guys you can watch one of the longest Lord of the Rings movies and then your phone will be charged so I guess if you needed something to do you could do that after 3 hours and 43 minutes, you can see it trickling away at 99% there, guys. And then hitting on that 100% mark for 3 hours and 43 minutes, 100%. That is a ridiculously long time to charge your phone wide or wireless, guys. I don't think it is very feasible to do so. Nevertheless, 
based on my raw calculations and math that I did here at home, I got a, a level of between 8 and 10 watt of charging based on the results from the other three phones that did this test based on their milliampere hours compared to their wattage. So I'm looking at about 8 to 10 watt wattage, maybe even just 7.5 there guys. It's not terrible, but it's not bad either. And until next time guys, this is Technic.